I just don't know what to do. Yeah. Hi, my name is Elena, and I just released my first ever clothing collection. For the past six months, I've been slowly designing and curating my very first clothing line. Fashion has always been an industry I've been mean to break into, and I can confirm this roller coaster ride has been the most challenging thing I've ever gone through. So, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so I don't know whether I'm gonna upload this video, but it is currently 10th of March. I just got off the phone with, with Haley, who is the owner of Delix Retail. So if you guys not know, I've worked at Delix Retail since I was 18, and I'm currently turning 21 this year, so it's been a while. And they basically launched their own pieces of clothing and had a crazy idea to basically release a Elena CX Delix World collection. I'm gonna be releasing my own clothing collection, and I literally had the epiphany in the study center just now. I immediately got home, I got in a meeting, I texted Haley and I was like, yo, I have the craziest idea. We talked about it, we both agreed, we're both excited and I... I've spent every second ever since listening to literally Lana Del Rey whilst I curate this whole Pinterest board of the vision of exactly what I want this collection to be. So I have a really specific vision of what I want this collection to look like. I want it to be very pink Pilates core. I want it to be really dainty, very hyper feminine, very... The literal name of the collection that I got was Future Trophy Wife. When, I, when you wear these pieces, I want you to feel like you're living that trophy wife lifestyle. I'm talking like pieces are more or less kind of like loungewear that can be elevated and worn in your everyday life. I don't know, I just had such a crazy pitch. But yeah, I'm just creating a more detailed pitch for this clothing line. This can be a start to a whole new chapter in my life. And it's always been something I dreamt about and I finally have someone that I trust to work on this project with me. So yeah, anyways, we'll see where this takes us. So the designing process honestly took around two to three weeks for us to really finalize. I think because we had so many options and obviously having so much freedom to whatever you want to the collection, that was definitely the hardest part, having to narrow down your designs and kind of see what's feasible and what kind of complements each other as a collection. That was probably one of the hardest things. So it's currently 8 p.m. and I'm currently working on another sketch right now but this is kind of what I've been going for kind of rough sketching like the onesies that I want and this is kind of the vision I kind of want for the puffer bag I don't know like this is kind of what I have so far for the designs This is so fun to me because it's kind of like my after school project um, when I have my free time but yeah that's basically it um, I had a meeting with the costume designer and Haley today we were just like sketching out just rough designs that we want. They just told me to get really specific with the inspo. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have until Wednesday to kind of submit something. I think on Wednesday, they're gonna meet up and draw some more sketches. But yeah, I didn't think like designing clothes was gonna be this hard. Like I think the hardest part is not coming up with ideas. It's just sticking to one because the moment I try and stick to something, you change it again and I'm really indecisive. So it's just been really hard. Um, and that's definitely something I have to learn. But yeah, my makeup literally looks so bad, but. I'm gonna get to it and continue designing. Yes, I'm going in July. Oh my god. I'm going in July. Okay. You're just not gonna be here? I might not be here for the event. I might not. <gasps> I feel like I won't. <gasps> but if I'm not here, um, Caitlin is gonna be here. <laughs> hey guys, it's May 7th right now. It has been a while since I've made a update. I just got off a meeting with Haley, but we've already started making samples for all the design pieces. Um, we finalized all the design pieces. Uh, we're making seven pieces in total. I didn't get a chance to really sit down and probably do like a proper update on all the designs and everything because the manufacturing process and stuff was taken due when I was like traveling and everything. But here, like, designs. This is the reference for the play suit. We're doing a pink bolero as well. Here are the designs I sketched out. This is the new updated little black and pink set we're doing. And then we're doing a black tank top, Milton making and all that. But but yeah, basically I we completed the designs about a month ago and we're starting the sampling process right now. But all my pieces are gonna be manufactured in Malaysia except for this puffer bag. I really want it to work, but we're just I'm just sourcing out manufacturers from China because that's the only choice I have right now. I was just on call with Haley talking about the financials and how much everything's gonna cost and we were just discussing with which suppliers to get these samples from for this puffer bag but yeah things are just really hard right now like i'm just scared no one's gonna buy anything but basically we're either thinking of doing a dual tone puffer bag buying 300 pieces or sticking with a monotonous bag but in pink 
or cream and then we're gonna do 100 pieces of each i'm currently going to be just coloring in the sketches for the bag and then we'll see how things go i feel like honestly coming up with the puffer bag design was the longest and that was the one that really stressed me out the most because it was really hard to kind of like imagine a real life bag and your drawing because your drawing can look really really nice but then when it comes out as a final product it might not be exactly what you've envisioned so that was something that was really challenging so I'm currently in Barcelona and I'm going to be collecting the sample. She was coming to Barcelona for a holiday and we finally have two of the samples. So I'm going to be receiving the play suit sample and the tube and skirt set sample. I'm excited. But yeah. This isn't like the completed finished product. I think we still have the source up materials and other fabrics. But this is going to be more or less the shape of everything. But yeah, I'm excited. I just collected the samples and I'm very excited. So we'll see how we try on tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk you through the first samples. As you guys can see, they look nothing like the finished product. Play suit, the cutout on the back was a little bit too big, so we decided to minimize it. And for the skirt set, I think the pink outline was a little bit too thin for my liking and made the skirt a little bit shorter as well because it's supposed to be low rise. I'm also editing this right now and I realized I didn't really get to show you guys the finalized designs for my entire collection, so here are my drawings. Basically, the two things are kind of different from the initial designs is that the play suit was supposed to be a pink play suit and the boxers were supposed to be a pinked striped boxer short. But besides that, that's basically it. So super big updates. The background might look a little bit different, but basically I'm back in Malaysia. I didn't get a chance to share my thoughts on the current samples, but my bag sample came! Oh my goodness guys, it's literally like close to perfect. Only thing that's missing is that I'm going to be adding some bows to the ends over here and I'm going to be adding a logo on the side here. So pretty, everything's basically perfect. This was the first sample bag. So as you guys can see, the whole design was completely different. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking. It's giving Spider-Verse vibes. I told them to basically increase the puffiness on this one, but I think this one just looks a lot more sleek and a lot more high quality. It's still such a pretty bag and I love the bow on this one, so for the final product, I'm telling them to keep this bow, but keep this overall bag. Okay, so I'm literally out here sourcing for fabric from my shorts because I tried looking for a supplier at Alibaba and it was just not it. So currently at the mall at Spotlight, literally sourcing for fabric. I think sourcing fabric and finding the right colors and specific material for my collection was definitely one of the hardest things. It was the biggest challenge we had because of the timeline restraint and also we didn't have enough time to source from China as well. So that was definitely super super hard. Literally what the heck? This blushy pink. Guys, I literally fucking found- I found the fabric. This is literally it. I feel like these match my criteria, but like the pink is just too vibrant, like it's giving bubblegum pink instead. This pink is a little bit too dark, I like the material, but the colors is a bit too dark. I feel like this is the perfect shade of pink, but the material is just really cottony and soft, but I feel like it could work. Oh my god, what? Literally, literally. This is kind of cute too, but like I don't like checkered, like I want it to be striped. But this shade of pink is, is really nice, the material is really soft. Oh my god, this freaking guys. Okay, so a little update, but basically we have two fabrics right now. We have this one, which is a little bit more vintage looking, and we also have this one that was a little bit more similar to the drawings that I initially drafted up. But basically, I bought a meter of both of these just so I can pass them to my manufacturer, just so he can produce a sample. As of right now, I'm going to be meeting Haley at the store because I'm here to collect the black tube sample because I'm going to Japan. I kind of want to shoot some promotional photos in them. But I'm also going to pass her the fabric to our manufacturer just so we can kind of sort it out but I'm really satisfied with the color selection of these two fabrics but I'm just gonna drop them up in these shorts and then see whether or not it works or not but yeah I literally met up with my manufacturer every week but here's a clip of one of these sessions <gasps> so these are the new samples so we decided to go for this color instead thank god so I'm at the store and we're gonna go try on the play suit sample Alright, <laughs> yeah, sir. Like, uh, the one that's funded, oh, a bit lost. This is oh, the, the color we wanted, okay. is it? Yeah. I think that's fine. <gasps> oh my god, the heart at the back is so cute. I know. What? You cannot do white outline here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no way. Uh, okay, no. Only one. Oh, no. 
on my candle. Let's just see how it looks on the... But I think the color looks correct though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the color is correct. Right. How oh, is it? Same size. Oh! Your color is so much cuter. I know! Oh my god. Actually though. Yeah, like way cuter. This is cute though. This is cute though. Yeah, yeah, it's really cute. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I love the what? material too. Right. You do you find this material already? Okay, right. so these are the shorts on. The length is perfect, but we might change the lace a little bit. I remember this meeting being one of the most bittersweet meetings because on one hand I got what I wanted, but it was really hard to source the material for mass production. And on the other hand, for the playsuit as well, I got the right shade of pink, but the material was not premium. It was not good at all. Okay hey guys, so the update is not very good news. Nothing is settled. Everything is not okay. And I'm not okay. Um basically we have to scrap the whole thing and change the color to white because it's either it's not double lined and we get the duotone lining or it's double lined and we don't get a duotone lining or we don't have the pink that I wanted because the fabric is too skinny and it's not as soft as the initial fabric which is like the nude fabric so all in all I think we're just gonna go with white and I'm really upset because I wanted to produce a pink play suit but now it's gonna be white no one to blame but it's just with the time constraint and everything but yeah that's basically that I don't know what to feel feeling angry feeling sad feeling annoyed feeling tired it's like like, I feel I'm at this point where like, I just gave up, dude. Like, I actually just gave up. Like, I told, I told everyone like, I just give up. Like, it's like months of back and forth, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? No, don't give up yet. Just go and take a nap. <clears throat> the thing is, like, it's all from China. And shipping with China takes a month and like... Okay, so basically, it just got so bad to the point where I manually sourced fabric from Alibaba. And this was me basically explaining my experience. I was so happy when I found the samples. Because samples are free. I just paid like 30 ringgit shipping. <laughs> came to me. It's so funny because the percentages of like nylon and spandex and whatever, it was exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But it was fucking thin. Like the material was so thin. I was like, that's the thing, you know, like, they're just crazy to me. I'm not really good at fabrics. My first time like really like sourcing up fabric. So I don't know what's what, but like fucking thin, dude. So that's why I'm like, I can't waste any more time searching. Because yeah. dude, I literally searched for like 40 suppliers, bro. So it's like, you know, and it's like really expensive. So I'm like, anyways. Throughout this entire process, I literally felt like giving up because every meeting we had seemed to be a bundle of bad news. <gasps> Wanted to just relax and go on a holiday and just... Just relax. Is it even worth it? Should I... What am I doing? Who the fuck do I think I am, dude? But I feel like I can't explain how stressed and tired I feel. Launching clothes is not an easy process and I've been through so many ups and downs the past six months But I feel like I'm just having zero confidence and I just have like so much doubt right now I just want the color that I initially envisioned and I just It just sucks and I just don't want to change anything about my collection But I feel like I might have to because like the due date is literally like next like a month from now like, I actually don't know what to do I don't know what to do I, I can't like another option is to produce it in white or black and I'm just like, it's not gonna be, like, I don't want to produce a black or white collection. It's supposed to be a pink collection, you know, like. Ah! Hey guys, a little update, but literally 10,000 meetings later with the manufacturer, I'm finally here. But we got the labels! Ah! It's gonna look like this. This is the other side. This is the other way. LNSC X Delix Retail. It's gonna look so cute! But basically, this is the sample for the boxers, the light pink boxers. Trust me, this makes me so sad because I literally went around the world to find this fabric and I couldn't find it, especially in bulk. So we're gonna scrap it instead. Here with the manufacturer because I have two fabrics. I have a nice little soft cotton and I have this other one. Hopefully next time you guys see me, we'll have the completed, literally completed everything. But oh my god, it's not it. But yeah. I think the few adjustments we're gonna do with this is just make it a little bit looser around the waist because it's supposed to be low-waisted so it's still a little bit tight for me um, make it a little bit more baggy and yeah that's basically the vibe finally towards the end happy days but this is basically the completed sample for the boxers and the baby tee which is supposed to be the lounge set that we have in mind for the shoot and I gave them each like a character we are doing castings for a video shoot next week a video shoot for trophy wives so basically just got to the casting it's currently 12 30 and it starts at 12 30 so I'm a bit late but yes we have seven models today we're gonna have four video shoots next week so we have seven models picked from and yeah Sit 
sole job is to sit there and look pretty. Guys, oh my god, casting went so freaking well. Like, I found all my characters, I found my models. So basically, we're gonna have a tennis trophy wife, a Pilates trophy wife, a skincare self-love trophy wife, more like a homebody trophy wife, and then I'm gonna be the productive one that's always running errands and stuff, so... Basically, that's the sitch. I'm really excited and really happy. So, life is great. I sorted out the paper bags because that took forever. Um, my puffer bags are finally on the way and they're reaching on the day of my shoot. As well as the metal tags that we're getting for the puffer bags. So, life is lifing right now. Life is good. I feel like everything just went full circle today. I feel like everything really worked out today. I got so many good news. So, yeah, I'm just really happy. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Guess what came today? Oh my god. <gasps> wow. I'm literally bringing 20 bags for the photo shoot. Five of these cannot fit in that. This is the finished product. It's just so cute, you guys. I can't. This is the white puffer bag. I initially wanted the puffer bag to be cream, but then when choosing out the fabric samples, I was afraid it was going to be too dark, like too cream. So we decided to go for white instead, but I don't know how I feel about this. I'm a bit nervous. I feel like it's really white, but she is obviously really, really cute nonetheless. The puffiness on this is amazing. Love the inside. Inside looks really good. Look how thick the bow is. Oh my God. What are you guys wearing? Lisa's <laughs> collection! Wow! Hi. Hi. Wow! Hi. I'm Tara. <laughs> I'm Michael. Hi. My gorgeous models, everybody. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Bro, don't be shy. This I'm not shy, I'm not shy. Okay. <laughs> now, when you're sauteing, you don't want to go like this. You want to go like this. Okay. One hand in. You guys see that? One, two, three, four. You uh, need any salt. See, that's how it works. That's how it works. Do you like so built much. for YouTube? I am. Yes. Just some vlog. Subscribe, subscribe. You drop the outro song. Ding ding. Uh, good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Literally day one of shooting. It was a success. I'm really happy. Um, I don't have too many behind the scenes, but tomorrow's gonna be a 9 to 6 p.m. shoot. But today, so far, so good. We finished one video campaign, and I'm really excited. Fast forward to tomorrow. Now I'm in the game. I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting. Now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the Beamer. Now I want the bands. Spending all the back. Like here I go again. Here I go again. Outside says chirp. Now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make. Keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. I say the giddy, you could get hit any day now. Oh my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions. My god, literally just finished day three of the video shoot. Um, this is my trophy wife paper bag. We tried getting vinyl stickers to transfer onto the paper bag, but it just did not work out. So I think I have to figure something out. I literally have like 50 stickers, so I'm thinking um trophy wife hoodies. Oh my god, you guys. Literally me just designing some stickers and some content for the page. But Pinterest right now, this is the current setup. This is kind of what I came up with just now. First draft for the sticker, but I don't really know how to feel about this.
Oh my god guys, literally look what I'm doing. I'm trying to get the text to blend into like the sofa. So I think we're gonna be using this for the pop-up posters. It's honestly just been like a full day of graphic designing, so I'm just a little bit tired. Really, really cute progress so far. Spaceship has the right. Take this to the sky. Baby, I Let's take this to the night. Mandatory, day loyal. Mandatory. It's a must Mandatory you loyal Mandatory It's a must Take Guys, literally tell me why I have been sitting down and designing the care label care tags that needs to be ordered by tomorrow because my launch is literally next Sunday and tell me why um Basically, the product shots are not done yet. I need to order the cards by tomorrow. If not, it just won't come in time. So tell me why. I am literally hand drawing all my pieces just because I want the specific graphic for the cards. And I cannot settle for less because I'm a perfectionist and everything has to go my way. I know the results are going to be really worth it, but me doing it right now, when this all could have been settled if the product shots were just shot by this weekend, which is fine. It's just not working out for my mental health because I cannot draw straight lines for my life. I shall skip to the finished product soon. I freaking did it guys. Oh my gosh. It's literally so, so pretty. This is gonna be the inside. So this is the care instructions. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. What the heck? Oh my gosh, crazy times. But basically, hello everyone. It is currently 9th of September and my pop-up launch is tomorrow. PR launch events on the 10th of September and I'm right now at the store I'm about to drop off some things because today we're gonna set up at the store I just have an extra pink bag and I'm just dropping off the cards I collected yesterday but I'm really excited and nervous and I just cannot wait for tomorrow so yeah you guys are gonna see like the behind the scenes of setting up and everything so really excited <gasps> guys say hi gosh <laughs> We're currently setting up gift bags and then there are these hair clips that are going to be sold tomorrow alongside cards and then some more freebies which are like basically these little like clips really really cute okay so i'm basically gonna voice over this section but oh my goodness setting up honestly took forever like we literally sat down for a good 40 minutes just making the bows and i think overall just making the hanging ribbons took so 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 long i remember it was still like 10 p.m or 11 p.m and we still nowhere halfway done but yeah i think because we had to manually thread and sew on the bows onto the string and then manually tie them up as well so it was just really strategic and also threading the needle and stuff just took forever but here was the end result it was really really pretty like i love the silver tones with like the white and the pink and oh my god look at me handyman l like literally she had to get on a freaking ladder and like tie that shit into the ceiling and i think the positioning of everything as well had to be so specific because i had such a specific vision but we got it done or whatever trophy wife who she's literally doing so much work right now we're gonna do Yet. Then we're gonna climb up. So. Hello, Suan. How do you feel about this event? I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Show us your outfit. What are you wearing today? Leave me alone. So, how much is your outfit? It's free, it's vintage from my mom's closet. Wow. wow. Okay, Caitlin's turn. Um, I tested this today. This is from IMG. Damn. That's from Taobao. Damn. We're missing your house, ah? Huh? Yeah. Wow, nice socks, man. Show us your socks. <laughs> so cute. Huh? You should put the stars on oh, it. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, it's so blue. Damn. <laughs> she did <didn't> what? <laughs> it's literally 12.30. Holy shit, this is it so far. It's coming together slowly. So this is basically going to be like the photo shoot area and we're going to have pillows tomorrow and stuff These are like fat ass posters Oh my god you guys, it's literally like 3am right now and setting everything up until like 2am Tomorrow, the day is finally here, it's tomorrow um, The event's from 1 to 4pm Probably gonna get there around 11.30, 12 Really nervous, really excited, oh my gosh But it's finally here, like it's finally here Like I cannot believe 
I've been working on this video for literally since March and, and launch is tomorrow. It's fucking crazy. And also midway throughout setting up. No fucking way. I just reached 100k subscribers on YouTube. Mm, that's crazy. I've literally been making YouTube videos since I was 9 years old. It's been over 10 years on this freaking social media and I reached 100k subscribers. Everything in life kind of works out despite the amount of ups and downs and bumps you have along the way. But all you have to do is really just push through and you know, feel your emotions and then not allow yourself to honestly get sucked into that like negative space. You really need to obviously feel your emotions and then after a while, once you calm down, keep going, you know, like you never give up because there were so many times throughout this entire collection where I just wanted to give up. Whether it was timeline issues, manufacturing issues, design changes, you know, getting the fabric and stuff. Like there were so many times where I just wanted to give up and I just cannot believe we're here today. It's fucking crazy and I'm launching tomorrow. Cut to tomorrow. Gosh, this is my hair. My makeup too crazy. Anyways, this is the outfit. I'm gonna be currently doing my hair. I really want to try this new hairstyle. It creates a lot of volume. Okay. I think the key to like really big hair is to honestly like hairspray that shit down. The more volume you want, the more you can like split the curl. That and then just, just get this. It's basically that. In terms of the actual back. I got two press on nails today. I'm probably gonna wear this one because I think it just matches the vibe a little bit more. Oh my god, my hair is still in this clip. I'm trying to maintain the volume, but this is the fit. So we have the divine tube top, and then I kind of styled the boxers with like a low waisted skirt, and my little heels with like socks. <laughs> home i went for dinner with my family and then we went for some drink but basically they took me out just to kind of like celebrate i'm a little bit tipsy right now so let's have a heart to heart talk i am so overwhelmed the amount of positive response i've had or we had so far with today's pr event literally the turnout came out so much better than we expected and the fact that it's an exclusive pr launched as in the official launch is not even out yet the official launch is literally on tuesday it just really warms my heart so much because I've been working on this since March, like this whole entire video, like you guys seen the ups and downs and the fact that we're finally here and the fact that like people showed up and when I said people showed up, the event went so well, everyone was on theme, the theme was pink and white and everyone literally wore like skirts with their little bows in their hair and everyone understood the assignment I was so 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 happy. By the way, my nail came out but I still have this set but yeah, it's really really cute, very ballerina core, very much like this collection but I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for, you know, just even supporting this entire collection and you don't even have to like purchase anything to really support. I feel like liking, resharing or like commenting, it really truly means the world to me. Even showing up, to me that just shows your support and that I really, really am so grateful because curating this clothing line, I was so, so, so nervous that no one was going to show up and I think it's obviously normal when it comes to, you know, starting your own business or starting anything, you get really nervous, you get peaks of like Anxiety because you're like, what if no one truly, you know, shows up for something that you worked so hard for? And the fact that the results turned out to be much better than I expected. I'm so, 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 so grateful for you guys. And the fact that we also reached 100k. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. But yes, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Elena. I am from Malaysia and I am a third year student studying in the UK, Bristol. And yeah. I think that marks the end of the video. I don't really know what else to say. The collection will be officially launched from the 12th to 15th of September and it will be available online as well. And we offer a worldwide shipping, baby. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys next time.
Oh my god At the top, see the top, I'm on top See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot Hit the gas, need no brakes, I don't stop